my government is committed to reducing the infant mortality rate by strengthening neonatal care services <coughs> to reduce the neonatal mortality our government is undertaking expansion and strengthening of facilities like special newborn care units mean mn mini tribal special newborn newborn care units nutritional rehabilitation centers leveraging technology better health care access is being provided to the citizens in the state through dr ysr telemedicine total 2.83 crore teleconsultations have been made have been done through telemedicine which account for 35% of the total consultations in india the highest done by any state in the country my government has launched a comprehensive program of nadu nedu for remodeling government hospitals up upgradation of infrastructure facilities and healthcare services across the state in a phased manner over a period of 3 years as a part of this initiative 10032 ysr village health clinics 528 urban health clinics 1124 phcs 121 chs chcs and 42 area hospitals are being upgraded my government has already revamped the 108 ambulances and 104 mobile medical units with modern life saving equipment the village health clinics positioned adjacent to the village ward secretariats provide primary health care to the needy at the grassroots level to ensure that best medical care my government is establishing 17 medical colleges in addition to the existing 11 medical colleges in the state with an outlay of 8480 crores five of these 17 medic new medical colleges will start functioning from the academic year 2023-24 with the objective of reducing avoidable blindness from 1% to 0.3% dr ysr kanti velugu scheme is being implemented in the state in six phases targeting specific population in each phase and to screen 5.60 crore population in the state with an estimated outlay of rupees 560.89 crores to holistically achieve the health objectives my government has decided to fill up all the vacant posts in health institutions in the state towards this end in all 48639 vacant posts have been filled up these include 3899 specialists 2088 medical officers 5777 staff nurses 13540 ans 10032 mid level health providers 13303 paramedical and support staff all these efforts will surely minimize the out of pocket expenses of the poor and also bring significant improvements in the health parameters prioritizing sustainable development goals my government is taking various innovative steps to improve the nutritional status of beneficiaries under anganwadi services my government has put in place several health and nutrition related schemes to make sure that state will achieve the global benchmarks and improve the performance under stunting wasting and malnutrition committed to achieving the sdgs well in time my government has laid special focus on closely monitoring the anemia and malnutrition related indicators four of the eight high priority sdg related indicators being monitored at the highest level on a regular basis pertain to these key two parameters my government has introduced 
ವೈಎಸ್ಆರ್ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಪೋಷಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈಎಸ್ಆರ್ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಪೋಷಣ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಂಗನವಾಡಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಸೈಡ್ ದ ಪೋಷಣ ಅಭಿಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಮೈ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಕನ್ವರ್ಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ವಿಮೆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮದರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಹಾಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಎ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷರೀಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ರೋರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಇನ್ಕರ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ my government is committed to provide permanent houses to all eligible people by 2024 by providing house sites and houses under navaratnalu pedal andiriki illu program under the program 30.65 lakh house sites pattas were distributed in the name of women beneficiaries the value of each such house site is to the tune of 5 to 10 lakhs so far 21.25 lakh houses have been sanctioned to the beneficiaries 4.4 lakh have been completed and the remaining houses are at various stages of construction it is also to be noted that all ysr jagananna colonies are being developed by providing all the required infrastructure facilities like water water supply electricity approach roads internal roads drains and welcome arches infrastructure infrastructure works worth rupees 32909 crores are being planned in all these all the layouts for the first time in india all types of pensions under ysr pension kanuka are being delivered on the first of every month at the doorsteps of the beneficiaries through village ward voluntary network so far an expenditure of rupees 66823.79 crores has been incurred benefiting 64.45 lakh persons every month every bpl weaver family who owns a handloom is provided with rupees 24000 per annum to modernize its equipment under ysr nethanna nestam rupees 788.5 crore has been distributed to 81783 weaver beneficiaries so far the ysr matsyakara bharosa stands unique in the country where relief to fishermen is extended during the lean period the relief provided to marine fishermen families during the fishing ban period has been enhanced from rupees 4000 to rupees 10000 and diesel subsidy is also enhanced from rupees 6 to rupees 9 per liter so far an amount of rupees 422 crores has been credited to 1.2 lakh eligible beneficiaries furthermore the excretion to the family of any fisherman who dies in high seas has been increased from rupees 5 lakhs to rupees 10 lakhs through jagananna chedodu a financial assistance of rupees 10000 is given to the eligible fisherman nai brahmins and tailors who have registered permanent or mobile establishments an amount of rupees 927.49 crores has been directly credited into the accounts of 3.30 lakh beneficiaries under the scheme social security insurance cover is being provided to unorganized sectors workers of the age group 18 to 70 years under ysr bima program for accidental deaths natural deaths and full and partial disability incidents so far claims to a tune of rupees 500 crores has been dispersed during the last 2 years 
an annual cash incentive of rupees 10000 under YSR Vahana Mitra scheme is provided to all eligible driver come owners of autos taxis and maxi cabs to meet maintenance expenses during the last 4 years an amount of rupees 1041 crores was distributed to 2.74 lakh beneficiaries through YSR law nestam my government is providing a half yearly stipend of rupees 30000 to eligible junior advocates an amount of rupees 35.4 crores was distributed to 4248 eligible junior advocates so far to help street vendors in their effort to access working capital at affordable rates my government is providing rupees 10000 loan amount with zero percent interest under jagananna todu scheme under the scheme so far 2470.3 crore was distributed dispersed to 15.31 lakh beneficiaries and the interest amount was also reimbursed now on women empowerment my government has laid utmost emphasis on the empowerment and welfare of women recognizing the need for political empowerment of women my government has provided 50% reservation for women in all local bodies. Further, further, by way of, by way, further, by way of an act, women have been provided with 50% reservation in all nominated posts and nominated works. Under the, under the YSR Asara. Under the YSR Asara, my government has helped the SHG women of rural and urban areas who had availed bank finance to meet their financial needs by reimbursing the entire loan amount outstanding as on 11.429 in four installments. An amount of Rs. 12,758 crores was released in two installments to 78.74 lakh SHG women in both rural and urban areas. To absolve the women of the debt trap and free them from the financial burden, my government has introduced YSR Sunnavaddi scheme through which the interest amount on the loan will be reimbursed directly to the account of SHG. So far, an amount of rupees 3,615 crores was paid to 1.02 crore SHG women. Through YSR Cheyuta scheme, a financial assistance of Rs. 75,000 is provided in four phases to all eligible women belonging to SC, ST, BC and minorities in the age group of 45 to 60 years. At 18,750 per year, an amount of rupees 14,129 crores was dispersed in three installments to 26.7 lakh women members under the scheme. My government has devised a new scheme, YSR EBC Nestam, to extend financial assistance to women belonging to econ economically backward classes. Under the scheme, my government will provide financial assistance of rupees 45,000 to each women, woman beneficiary aged between 45 to 60 years at rupees 15,000 per annum for three years. So far, an amount of rupees 595.86 crores has been credited directly into the accounts of 3.94 lakh women. Under YSR Kapu Nestam, 
my government is providing financial assistance of rupees 75000 in five phases to women who are in the age group of 45 to 60 years belonging to kapu telaga ontari and balija caste at rupees 15000 per year so far an amount of rupees 1500 crores was paid to 3.56 lakh women to financially empower the eligible brides and their families, the government has significantly enhanced the incentive and introduced the YSR Kalyana Mastu for SC, ST, BC, minorities other than Muslims differently abled and YSR Shadi Tofa for Muslim minorities. The The scheme, is, the scheme is implemented on saturation basis in a transparent manner through the Grama Ward Sachivalayams to ensure that poverty does not come in the way of education. Mothers who send their children to schools and educational institutions are supported by providing financial assistance in the form of various schemes like Amma Odi, Jagananna Vidya Devena, Deve, Devena and Jagananna Vasati Devena. Also, all the house site pattas were given in the name of women beneficiaries and distributed to women beneficiaries only. My government has launched YSR Swetcha scheme on International Women's Day 2021 with an aim to ensure accessibility to good health and hygiene among adolescent girls and women. So far, an amount of rupees 25.33 crores has been spent on this program. To help women in distress, Disha app was launched by our government. Any, any, any woman, any woman in distress Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Any woman in distress can either call police or by simply shaking the mobile, the police will come to her rescue within minutes. This app has received tremendous response with over 1.36 crores downloads till date and 1.11 crore registered users. As a comprehensive measure to address the issues that directly or indirectly concern women and girl child, for the first time, my government has presented gender budget during budget sessions 2021-22. Social justice now. Recognizing that social justice cannot be attained without political empowerment, my government has taken several measures to empower economically and socially deprived sections of the society. Within the Council of Ministers, within the Council of Ministers, 50% of the posts in the first round and 70% of the posts in 70, uh, second round were given to SC, ST, BC and minorities. Furthermore, out of five deputy CM posts, four posts, that is 80% were given to SC, ST, BC minorities. Within the Zilla Parishad chairman posts, within... Within the Zilla Parishad chairman posts, Nine posts, that is 70% out of 13, were given to SC, ST, BC and minorities. Furthermore, my government has ensured that among nominated posts and nominated works, 50% be reserved to SC, ST, BC and minorities and an act has been brought to this effect. Accordingly, out of 137 various corporation chairman posts, 58% were given to SC, ST, BC and minorities.